Okay, hey y'all. So today I have a little craft for you guys. Um, I'm really into the fall spirit. So I have seen these things, of course, on Pinterest and YouTube about um, paper mache pumpkins. And I tried this way with a string and a balloon and it just wasn't working out for me. So I tried a different method, which is where you take a bunch of plastic bags, tie them off, and you use masking tape to make it into a pumpkin shape. Well, I'll show you how to do all this. Um, so you take your masking tape, tape off the plastic bags, make in your pumpkin shape. Then some people I saw used um, your basic old paper mache with newspaper strips and a flour glue water mixture. And I did that on my first pumpkin and then some people put a clay around it or a paper clay. I didn't use an air dry clay on the first one. I used a paper clay over the already newspapered paper mache bags. And I found that the paper mache part with the newspaper and the flour and glue water, all that mixture, I found it wasn't necessarily needed for me and so I found it was just one extra step so I cut that step out and I just did the masking tape made into a pumpkin shape and I used the paper clay over top of that and I found it was the same I didn't find it to be any different um, and then once you paper clay um, once you paper clay the pumpkin, you then come back over it with a joint compound and it gets it nice and smooth. You can sand it. Some people sand it, some people don't. Some people use a wet cloth and smooth it out. I've tried both. They're both okay. Um, it just depends on the type of finish that you want. But yeah, I'm gonna show you all these little tricks and tips that worked for me and for this. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you how to make is the actual bags and how to form them into a pumpkin shape. So the first thing you need to do is get all your grocery bags that you didn't want and you know that you're gonna recycle. Put all those together and grab yourself some masking tape. And you're gonna need two different sizes, the smaller size and the bigger size. Okay, so you have your bunch of bags. So you just went to the grocery store and you came back and you have the kids or yourself put all the bags into one single bag. And you wanna tie it off just like that. Really simple. Now you're gonna take your tape. And you're going to tape off the little ties and just kind of hold them down just like that so they're not sticking out. So you wanna tie these off just like this. See, now they're tied down. Another thing you wanna do is tie down these little floppy ends so they're not hanging out. Okay, so now our bag has our little loose ends all taped down. So we're gonna start with the small roll and we're going to tape off, imagine like a pumpkin, what it looks like. Now you were just going to tape it off one complete circle all the way around and you want to make it get nice and tight because you're trying to make the lines like the groove lines in a pumpkin so once you have it right in half like that you're going to do one around the other direction right in half so just like this all the way around and it's nice and tight so now you have four sections now you're gonna do the same repeat the next step you're gonna cut this in half here cut in half here here and here with the tape again and then it'll be complete and you'll have all your little grooves for your you get it nice 
really tight. And you're thinking, how the heck is that gonna look like a pumpkin? But it really does work. This doesn't look very impressive right now. It just looks like you taped up a bag of trash. But eventually, it'll turn out like that. So, the next step of taping is gonna take the big tape now, and you're going to start covering this big groove section of the plastic, and you wanna tape it all off. And what I tried to do was stay and follow the line just like that. And I tried to kind of make it a little bit tight so it would continue the groove. So I just taped this off right here. And then you just continue, continue taping each section. Now just continue each section and we will speed this up so you guys can see. So now this is all complete with the big tape. It is taped up and it looks nothing like a pumpkin. It just looks like a flat weird hamburger of bags. So now what we're gonna do is retape the grooves with the small tape again. So you're gonna go back over with your small tape and redefine the lines. Okay, so the taping is all done. Now what we're going to do is make the paper clay. The things you're going to need to make your paper clay are a old plastic bowl, Tupperware. You can buy a cheap bowl from Walmart. That's what I did. This was like a dollar and a plastic spatula from the little cheapy utensil section at Walmart. This was like a dollar. So I got these because I didn't want to use my good stuff, obviously. The next thing you're gonna need, us. So I found this, which is at Hobby Lobby, and it's $6.99, or you can use your 40% off coupon, which I also love a good deal, so you can get it even cheaper to make your crafts, and it. The other thing you're gonna need is at Walmart, again. This was, under eight dollars and it's joint compound so have your husband 
or whoever, or yourself, go to Walmart, grab you some joint compound, or unless you have some down in the basement or in the garage or wherever, you know, use that. But the video that I watched in one recommendation is that don't use the DAP, um, the DAP brand um, joint compound. For some reason, it doesn't work. So this one was recommended, so that's the one I went with. I haven't tested the other. I, d I can't say for sure it doesn't work, but it's up to you. Try it. If you got it and you just want to make it, do it. That's what I would do. But the other thing you're going to need is Elmer's Glue All. Okay, now what you're going to do is if you have an old plastic, or I just used a plastic throwaway spoon, and you're going to want to just scoop some out, throw it in your bowl. To probably say about what looks like a cup. Then you're gonna want to take your glue, take off the top, it'll pour faster, and pour in until about it looks like two-thirds cup I'd say. Really this is just estimations you're really looking for that refried bean consistency again. So now what you're gonna wanna do, don't forget to close up your joint compound or it'll dry out. So now you just wanna mix this up. And my bowl looks a little crusty. And to clean out my bowl, I just usually scrape it off with a kitchen scraper that you would scrape off your dishes or pans with. I have one that I use for crafts because I don't use it on my dishes. I just use it for wax melts and stuff like that. And this is gonna get nice and a consistency of, I'd say, cake batter. Thick, but not too thin. I don't know if you can tell, but So that's the consistency you want. So the next thing you're gonna do, you wanna make sure you don't get chunks like that in there. That came off the edge of my bowl. Next thing you're gonna do is open your paper mache, and you're going to throw some in your bowl. You just wanna sprinkle it in there. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And I'm gonna use that much and then I'm gonna see what the consistency will look like after I get this mixed in. Okay, that's nice. That's pasty, it's looking good. You can use this consistency, that's totally fine. Again, this is really all up to how you feel. If you feel that'll look good, it's all trial and error too. Every craft you do is always trial and error. <laughs> I mean, again, nothing's ever perfect. So that's what we have, see how it. The next thing we're gonna do is put the paper clay that we just made onto our taped pumpkin. Now, you're gonna wanna have on hand an old rag, paper towel, anything to wipe your hands on. So, you're just gonna take a scoop of this and you're just gonna glop it on top, just like this. And if you're familiar with cake frosting or decorating a cake, it's basically going to be the same type of concept. You're just going to want to smooth it out, shape it to how you want, and it's really simple. It's One thing 
thing I'm going to show you is how to make the stem. This, so you take either an old toilet paper tube or a paper towel tube. You can take newspaper that's bunched up. You could use cardboard. There's so many different things you could use to make the stem. What I've been using is just a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube, depending upon the size of the pumpkin. I wanted to have it pretty comparable and well balanced. So for this little pumpkin we've been making, I think I'm gonna use a toilet paper tube. And I just took it, it was open. I just bent it and rolled it up like this. And then I like to give it a little twist because I like a nice twisty style stem. So that's all I'm gonna do for the stem. Then I'm gonna again take the masking tape and wrap it around. So now I'm gonna show you how to take your stem since this guy is all dry, nice and pretty hard. We're gonna go ahead and put on the stem. So usually I try to pick a side that looks good to me or which side I like best. So we're gonna go with this side and you just try to find the center of your pumpkin. We're going to take our hot glue and put a bunch on the bottom, all in the circle, dry. And while it's drying, you want to take your masking tape, take off little strips, about two inches or so, and you're going to attach it to the side. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see. What I'm doing closer. You want to take the strips, run it up one side, put it down along the other side. And you want to do this all the way around. So that way it gives an extra support your stem makes it a little bit more stable Now what you want to do is take the clay that you have left and run it around your stem. So I always try to just start from the bottom and push up and you're going to want to hold your stem because it's not 100% secure so you want to make sure you hold it and you don't push it around too much. You want to be a little bit easy with this. And then I just go over the tape that we just put on and I smooth it out over the tape. Because you want to make sure that that is covered.
Okay, I hope you guys had fun watching this video. Um, it was a lot of fun to make and I really enjoy crafting. So if you want to see more crafts, I have a lot more in store. Just hit the like button so I know and we can get more made for you. And also don't forget to subscribe so that way you can see when more videos come out because we do more than crafting around here. There's all kinds of craziness, right Coda? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe. Don't to subscribe. Bye. And turn on your notifications. Okay. Bye. Peace, Peace out. out. Peace out. <laughs>